Faced with a daunting diagnosis of metastatic breast cancer, Lori Kahn sought a second opinion at Mayo Clinic. Going in, she didn't have a lot of hope. When I saw Lori for the first time, uh, I think her and I were both scared because she really didn't look good. They tell you it is not curable, it's controllable. But then she met oncologist Dr. Felipe Bottolini. Dr. Bottolini is involved in research that looks at the individual biomarkers of a patient's cancer to personalize their therapy. Because her disease was so aggressive in the beginning, we used some chemotherapy to cool down her disease. Because we were afraid we would not have another opportunity, we jumped into using targeted therapy. And that certainly calmed her disease even further, shrunk some of her tumor and certainly gave more quality of life. For Lori, who was 67 and single, that meant embracing opportunities that she thought she'd never have. My now husband and I have been living together for seven years. I'm thinking to myself, well, I guess I need to plan a funeral now. And I was having lunch with a girlfriend, and she said, well, you guys talked about getting married. Have you ever thought anything more about it? And all of a sudden, I was like, Cupid shot me finally. <laughs> so I came home, and I said, well, what do you think if we, instead of, you know, doing this, we plan a wedding? You know, my whole as a breast medical oncologist is really to understand patients' goals and values. And for her, she really wanted to live a little longer so she could actually get married. Lori was married in front of loved ones and friends. Mayo has been unbelievable in making this wedding happen. And when I say it takes a village, it took a village between Mayo and my family to get us down the aisle. After a short honeymoon, she's channeled her energy into writing about her journey and providing advice for others who are living with terminal illness. One of the chapters in my blog is all the positives. There's some pretty off-color funny things in there, but I think you have to just get comfortable with your diagnosis, your medical team, and, and take one day at a time. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dee Dee Steepen.